My name is Jay and I am your instructor and success coach for this video training tutorial. So in this video tutorial, we're looking at creating an email account under your domain name and configuring your email client to send and receive emails. Now, I must tell you, this video training tutorial is so, so short. Um, I may add some other resources to it um, just as a bonus because um, I'm sure you're going to get this in a matter of minutes. Okay, so let's get busy. What we need to do, we need to access our um, C panel, which is our control panel. And if you don't uh, understand your C panel or your control panel, make sure you go to planningmywebsite.com and um, get uh, the video training tutorials on C panels. Um, if you don't find it there, I'm sure you'll find the resource link to um, those video training tutorials. Okay, again, it's the C panel tutorials you want to make sure you um, get. Okay, so let's go to our C panel. And what we want to do, we want to first create the email account. Uh, we don't have an email account under the domain name. Now I'm going to set uh, the email account under this domain, which is success-vote.com. Okay, I need an email account for success-vote.com. I want something like J at success-vote.com. Dot com. And so what we do, we go to the cPanel. The way I access my cPanel is putting in the domain name in the address bar, a forward slash, and then I type cPanel. Okay, and then it'll ask for my credential, username, and password. And I'll go ahead and provide that with those credentials. And then I'm in my control panel. And you want to go down to this portal or this module the email or the mail and up under the mail you'll see email accounts go ahead and click there okay now this is where I will set up or create uh, that email account here I just want something simple as J okay so J at success dash vault dot com and then I'll put in a password create a pretty strong password Okay, there I have it. Now I could uh, use uh, 250 megs uh, or I could do an unlimited amount. I will do an unlimited amount. Okay, click create. Boom, and that is it. Okay, now what you can do also to get the configuration right here, you see this more tab. Click there. You can access the web the web email or you can configure the email client let's click on configure email client okay and we're going to I'm going to show you how to configure this in Microsoft uh, Office Outlook here are all of the manual settings for Outlook or whatever client you have okay so the mail server username here it is and then the incoming mail server, incoming mail server, outgoing mail server. And um, we're looking at supported income mail protocols, POP3, uh, POP3S. And so uh, what we want to do now, let's go ahead and click go back. Um, before I actually create a um, or configure the email uh, client, because we already have the email We've already created the email, j at success-vault.com. Okay, I could click on the more, and then I can access the webmail. And then I could take any of these mail clients. Let's take Squirrel Mail. Click there, and there I have it. I'm inside uh, the uh, email address for j at success-vault.com. Okay. So let's go ahead and open up our email client. This is Outlook Express. So what I want to do, what you want to do rather, you want to click on File and then Add Account. 
Okay, now what we want to do, we want to put in um, our, what I usually do, I put in my email account where it asks for name. I, I, I know I could put just my name, J Sparks, but it, I like putting in my email account where the username is. Okay. And then because you may set up other email accounts, uh, so you to distinguish those email accounts instead of having them all say your name, um, put in that email account. Okay, uh, email address. Here we go. And then we go ahead and we put in the password that we created in the C panel. That's the password you want to put here. You don't want to create a new password. You want the same password that gives you uh, entry with the cPanel when you created that email address. So we go here, let's put it there, okay. Okay, and then we click next and it's searching and let's see what happens. Okay, so it says an encrypted uh, connection to your or my mail server is not available. Okay, let's do the uh, unencrypted. Go ahead and click next. And we should be okay here. This is unencrypted. Okay, there we go. We were able to configure it successfully um, via IMAP. Okay, we'll go ahead and click finish. Unless you want to set up another email account. Okay, now what it's done is automatically created or sent a test uh, email. Okay, um, let's go ahead and close this. And uh, we're going to log into our email here to just verify if that test email went through. And there it is, Microsoft Outlook test message. Okay, so it's in our inbox. Let's compose a email and send it back to ourselves. Let's say, let's call it return test. Let's copy all of this, all of this paste it here and um, go ahead and click send so we're sending it to ourselves okay so there it is it came back to ourselves and let's go into our Microsoft click here send and return and there it is double click and let's pull this over here there it is. Okay, so that's it in regards to creating an email account under your domain name and configuring your email client to send and receive emails. Now, because I, like I said, this uh, video training tutorial was so short, we're talking like less than 10 minutes. Uh, what I want to do, I want to throw in some bonuses. I want to um, show you some other things. Um, let's forward our email account here um, in your cPanel. Go back to your cPanel. Remember how I told you get to your cPanel by putting in your domain name forward slash cPanel right there. Okay, and it asks for your credentials. You'll go ahead and log in. Under the mail module, you want to click on forwarders. Okay, because we want to forward when an email comes to us, uh, say j at success vault.com. Uh, I want it to be forwarded to my, uh, say, uh, free email address. So I'm going to click add forwarder. Okay, which email do I want? I want j, and I want it to be forwarded to this email address, a Gmail account jsparks at gmail.com click add forwarder and that's it all mail sent to j at success vault.com will now be copied to jathan sparks at gmail.com
So when I get an email to j at success-vault.com, it will also be sent to my Gmail account. Now what this does is as I'm opening my Gmail account uh, more frequently than I'm opening my j at success-vault.com, um, I will be able to um, interact or I'll be able to um, reply faster uh, simply because I've got notice there at my Gmail account. Okay, now something else I want to do. I want to add an autoresponder. So when someone sends an email to j at success-vault.com, I want an autoresponder or an email reply to automatically uh, send to that sender um, a message and at the same time I'm getting uh, the message that I got an email so I don't have to reply uh, personally directly right away okay that's the whole purpose of the autoresponder so we go ahead and click autoresponder right here okay and we click add autoresponder okay and the email is J and I'm going to put um, from J Sparks uh oh Jaya <laughs> yeah, yeah Jaya <laughs> okay um, let's call this uh, um, something like, uh, let's see, how about, thanks for contacting me, thanks for contacting me, okay, this message contains HTML, no, okay, so let's go ahead and type the body, I'm just gonna copy and paste some text here, okay, so here we have it, I put a a little text here and um, okay so um, that's it go ahead and click on create uh, forward slash uh, modify and there we have it our autoresponder is there let's click go back all right and one more thing I want to do in uh, my C panel, I want to um, invoke or enable my spam assassin to cut down on some of the spam. Right here, click enable spam assassin. And now that's it. And click go back. And I'm done. Click on home. Okay, now let's test this out, our autoresponder. Let's go back to our, um, our Outlook Express and let's open up our, well, let's go ahead and click on new email. And this is coming from j at uh, success-vault.com. And let's go ahead and put j at let's see success at vote.com okay um in the subject we're going to put auto responder test okay say hello jay this is a auto oops auto responder test thank you okay there we go let's make sure we have everything here do 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 okay do I like it okay so we have everything uh, that we want here Okay, so what we'll do, go ahead and click on send and receive right here. 
and then I'm sending it. Okay, now let's go ahead and go back to our C panel. Well, actually, okay, so I sent an email. Let me check my Gmail account, and there I have it right here from Jay Sparks. Thanks for contacting me. Greetings, thank you, or greetings, Jason Sparks. Thank you for contacting me. I am currently away from my office at this time. However, I would love to speak with you. Please allow me 24 to 48 hours and I will personally reply to your email. Again, thank thank you so much for reaching out to me and I look to speak with you soon. Okay. There we have it. Okay. So that's how we do that that's how we do that that's how we do that this is our outlook express for some reason my outlook express is very tardy uh with uh receiving um emails that's it in this video tutorial we've been about 20 minutes um don't want to get too uh, out there with the time but anyway i hope you were able to um uh, discover something in this video training tutorial and then again like I said before you might want to uh, purchase uh, the uh, video training uh, tutorial C panel and you could get that from planning my website uh, dot com uh, you could get more details and more information on how to obtain those video tutorials again okay okay again my name is Jay Sparks and as always I'm wishing you the greatest of success. Bye for now.